balloon. <laughs> Love to guess balloons, guys. Can we go high, don't be shy. He's gone, he's dribbling. It's not designed to be inhaled, it's designed to whip cream. Balloons are the best. Huge numbers of people inhale nitrous oxide for the sole purpose of getting high. And nowhere more so than East London, where it's become big business for the balloon sellers. Inhaling nitrous oxide recreationally isn't anything new. But talk to anyone who went to carnival or festivals last summer, and they'll tell you there's been a huge spike in the amount of people doing balloons. When that was coming up, obviously I knew what was happening to me, so, so as I was letting it go, but I mean, as in, yeah, it's a good little high. It's just a short buzz, isn't it? Just How a long short buzz. Uh, say roughly 30 seconds to a minute, about that. Hundreds of thousands of canisters meant for whipped cream dispensers are legally imported into the UK every week over the internet. A 25p canister can fetch up to £5 per balloon. And for black balloons with their bespoke equipment, trained staff, and even mobile chip and pin machines, this has become a brand. What we sell is we sell a novelty item that actually promotes that you don't have to take MDMA, you don't have to take cocaine, you don't have to go outside out and drink until you don't remember how you get home. You can go out, you can have a balloon. If you do it safely and responsibly, it's a five minute buzz and it gets you excited and you can continue and have a great night. Everybody's got to make money either way. I don't think it's a bad way to make money because it's just you providing a service. It's like me selling a hot dog at the side of a road. It's illegal for balloon sellers to sell nitrous oxide while it's in a canister. But once it's been pierced and distributed into a balloon, it then becomes legal. For the police, it's a huge grey area, and they say they're pretty much powerless to act. There's no control who can sell it, where they sell it, other than there are offences to sell it to someone under the age of 18. It is an area of law that does need uh, looking at very closely. I and mean, when we talk about these um, legal highs, um, they're not legal, um, they are illegal, many of them. And this falls into that category. There's, there's been some recent legislation where some of those have been made illegal, and I would like to see nitrous oxide seriously considered for some of its own legislation. I was stopped by two police officers. They took half an hour to like realise that they didn't know what they could or couldn't do. Like they like, we can't take anything off you. We have to let you go because we don't know what to do. There's no regulations about this. It's fine, but him doing this kind of makes the rules not fine. Oh, yeah. 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 In large doses, nitrous oxide can cause dizziness and make you unconscious by starving the body of oxygen. There have been a handful of deaths over the past few years associated with the abuse of it, although the drug experts I spoke to were not convinced that it could be any worse than abusing alcohol. Until it's been made illegal or legal or something's been said about it, for us it's completely okay. Earlier this year, the Home Office wrote to festival organisers encouraging them to ban the sale of nitrous oxide at their events. And even though they warned that inhaling it might kill, there's no sign of a government crackdown happening anytime soon. The clink of canisters and the whoosh of dispensers seems to be growing across the country. And the whipped cream salesmen are laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs>